So, if you guys have ever used one of these liquid filled gauges, uh, you know that this um, measurement that you get off of this, usually I will put that on my fuel rail. I'll use one of those female to male connections that has an eighth inch port. And uh, you know this is just a suggestion, right? So, um, you know, with modern EFI systems, you still have a pressure transducer on your regulator or uh, somewhere on your fuel rails to give you pressure and to give the EFI system pressure. But for me, I've always only used these gauges for setting initial fuel pressure, right? So if I'm starting a car up and I don't have anybody around and I'm trying to run the fuel pump, set the pressure and all that stuff, I'll just put one of these on so I can always have a reference to see where things are at. And then if things start going bad, at least now I know I'm like, well, it's off by 25 PSI, something's wrong. Aeromotive just came out with, well, I think they've actually had this for a while, but I honestly have never even stocked one or used one. Um, and honestly, if you look at their website or anybody's website, it's completely not mentioned, especially in the title. So you would never know this. So these little gauges that you screw in with an eighth inch port, they are oil filled. And what does oil do when it gets hot? It expands. What happens when uh, oil expands in a you know, sealed piece? It creates pressure. Pressure is going to offset this gauge and make it read incorrectly. So what Aeromotive did is they added this little pressure relief valve. So, you know, when you're going to set fuel pressure or check fuel pressure, it's as simple as pushing this little valve and you will physically see the pressure go from, say like 65 down to 58 where you set it or 55 down to 43 or whatever the number is. Every time you get underneath of the car or get in the engine bay, you know, it doesn't matter if this is mounted on a regulator or a fuel rail or whatever, just the ambient t temperature of the engine or the engine bay is gonna heat that fluid up, that oil, and it's gonna make it read incorrectly. And all of these brands make these oil-filled gauges. The oil is so that the gauge will actually survive the vibration and everything, but the oil creates another issue and that means it reads incorrectly. So simple little product, it's 42 bucks on our website. We keep them in stock. Um, like I said, normal eighth inch NPT. And it just gives you the ability every time you want to check uh, fuel pressure, you just push that button, releases air, kind of like the valve stem on your tire, and uh, equalizes everything out so it actually reads cor correctly. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is the new Extreme Series regulator from Aeromotive. This has been out for a while. It is their new version, and they have it in a 5-gallon a minute flow and in a 7 to 26-gallon a minute flow. And what that means is that you guys need to stop using that big old 10 foot long regulator. Um, that's an old version of the regulator. It's obviously hard to package. So replace it with this little guy. It flows the same. It's just as good at regulating fuel all the way up to 26 gallons a minute. And fuel pressure regulators on big fuel flow systems, if you didn't know, aren't really, they're a little bit deceiving because even though this is a seven to 26 gallon a minute regulator, it's not gonna flow 26 gallons a minute if it's not being used. So if you oversize your fuel pump by a bazillion gallons per minute, this thing isn't just gonna get rid of it and take care of it on its own. So neither will the big one that's 10 foot long. Basically, I think the design behind that was they didn't have a spring package that was accurate or good. Uh, but this is a new compact version. 13132 is the big one that goes 7 to 26 gallons a minute. And then 13134 is the smaller one that goes with like a 5 gallon a minute pump. So definitely take a look at this sucker. Um, you know, it's Aeromotive. They stand behind their product. And these things are definitely nicer than the cheapo ones uh, that you'll find on the market. Gives you the ability to adjust the pressure and make things... Uh, at least not chase your tail. I've ran into cars before where I start trying to troubleshoot in the middle of a tuning session. And I'm like, well, fuel pressure is like spiking way up or whatever, or it's way down. And it's likely because I didn't have this. So it's an issue that you never knew you had, but now you do. And now you know what the solution is. So if you guys got any questions, pop them up real quick. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, NX Gonzo is giving me all kinds of love. Um... If you guys don't have any questions, thanks for tuning in. And I hope this was uh, valuable for your five minutes of your day so you can understand how these gauges work, what the solution is, and uh, what's out there for you guys to use. So I'll go ahead and put the link below for the different, uh, 
for this and then for your two different regulators. And uh, we will see you guys next time. If you got questions like this you want me to do a live feed on, definitely share them and I will go ahead and log in and do another one. We'll see you.